everyone, welcome to our Wellington home. This is gonna be my official home tour of our home. So a lot of you guys know Mike and I are planning on moving. Uh, we're gonna stay in the same general area. We just want something bigger now that we're having kids. And this has been our home for the past 12 years. And we absolutely love it. It's, it's a little Mediterranean style house and our goal was to make it look like a mini Palm Beach mansion because we love Palm Beach. So I have been putting off sharing with you the outside backyard, the whole entire house at one time. So that's gonna be this video. And if you're watching this, it probably means that we've already moved. So we're gonna start the home tour outside in the yard because you've never seen this before. So this is our entryway, but Mike is gonna swing the camera around and share with you one of my favorite spots of our front yard. And that is these three palm trees they're Christmas palms and these are Christmas palms because they actually produce seed pods that are red come December. They're still producing them and might cut them down because they'll grow a bunch of uh, little uh, palm trees if we don't. And then underneath of it we have this hibiscus. I love this hibiscus. It's a white flower with a red center. It's very classy. And then in the middle we have our fiddle fig leaf. This was actually in a pot in our house and it got so big, we planted it out here and it's flourishing. These do so well in Florida. And then I have all of our orchids. So I, I love our orchids. They all just finished blooming. So I kind of missed those bad timing on my part, but actually this one is blooming still over here. You can show them this one. But they, they bring new shoots every year and they just bloom like crazy and every time I get one and I put it in the house and after it's done flowering I just put it out here and it just flourishes and the blooms last longer too so and then we have our jasmine by, by our garage stones and then we have our hedges over here and this bit of the landscape which honestly we tried several flowers here. This is a very dry spot, so everything kind of dies. So the um, Green Island ficus is doing very well here. So I think if we were to stay here, we would just fill this in probably with Green Island ficus. And then the same thing over here, we have these three great palm trees and uh, we keep them trim, a nice neat tidy hedge. We would love to do the layered effect, but that's for the next house. So this is our front yard of the house, our front garden. It just makes me happy every time I pull in. Okay, so now that you've finally seen the front yard, let's come on inside and I'll show you the whole entire house. Okay, you guys are familiar with our entryway. It's actually super dark. We shouldn't have probably closed the doors, but let's go ahead and head upstairs because I don't know if you've ever gotten this angle before, so come on. This is our staircase. This used to be all carpet, and the baseboard design is Mike's design. I love it. He did really great at the landing we have this really cute piece of furniture that I got from Hobby Lobby and actually this is Hobby Lobby and that's Target and so we just have a few trinkets up here everything by the way today we're doing our listing photos so everything is staged perfectly and um, we don't have everything out so I thought this, was, <laughs> this would be a great time to do this so we have this little angle right here that leads you right to Emma's room, which I've done a video on Emma's tour. So Mike is just going to peek in there so you can see Emma's room. Nothing much has really changed in there. It's, it's been functioning so well for us. So it really needs beauty and design. So we're happy about that. And then we have this great landing up here and it's, it's open. I like that it doesn't have railing because then I worry less about Emma falling over because she is a climber but and it's really neat because you can actually look over and see the whole house so Mike will pan and let you look over the edge and you can see hopefully in our next house though we won't have this because I don't think it's the safest with kids but we have this little landing and then over here 
we have Emma's bathroom and this bathroom has been untouched. And I mentioned before in another video that I wanted to redo this bathroom this year. However, because we decided to move, we talked to our realtor and the realtor advised us against it because we put so much money into this house already, we won't see the return. But it is clean and it's a flashback from the 80s. So if you, if you want to go for a little time warp, go take a peek in there. I think the only thing we changed out was the light. But everything else is original. So in all of its 80s glory. And of course we paint it. And then in here used to be my office. And we have turned it into Mike's office now. So Mike will give you a sneak peek in here. We, um, you know, this room used to be just much, much more full, but we really pared down and it's just looks so much better now. We have these shelves from the container store. They're Alpha. He has all of his books on here and his desk. Actually, we keep his desk underneath the window. Uh, because it's better for Zoom calls and stuff, but we moved it here for the staging. So that's a little tip. That's what our realtor told us to do. I think you would agree it does look better. So it may not function as well, but it looks better. So come on, let's go downstairs and we'll do a quick tour of the full downstairs. Actually, let's do a peek in the powder room. So the powder room is right here by the door. And we made this one very, it's very influenced by Palm Beach. We love it. I had a lot of fun designing this bathroom. I think I love powder rooms and laundry rooms because I feel like you can go a little crazier with them. <laughs> Paper in there is Tem paper. It's actually a peel and stick wallpaper. So in here is our master bedroom, which I've never done like a full tour or video on before. But over to our right is our bathroom. And this we designed in 2009. <laughs> and it's already, now it's outdated. So we really need to redesign it again. But it's clean. And I think that um, Mike and I will definitely be together forever because we shared a sink our whole marriage, all 12 years, and we still love each other very much. So <laughs> I think that's a really good thing. So that's our master bathroom. This is the master bedroom. Uh, we would love, love, love to change it, get a different bed. Well, um, well let me first say I'm a sucker for dark furniture and white accessories. I just always love a dark bed, white linens, white walls. I, I just love that contrast. However, um, in this bedroom, we basically designed it when we were engaged and then we haven't touched it since. So we recently did a little bit of rearranging, but we want a new bedroom so bad. But since we're going to move, we're holding off trying to focus on some self-control. But this is our bed. This is actually a Pottery Barn bed that we got from Craigslist. And those lamps I love, we got from Target. This is one of my favorite things. I got this picture. This is from the Ladies Home Journal in 1939. And I got it in Georgia with my grandparents at a flea market. And then, and I was like 16 years old, 16 or 17. So when we got married, I framed it and I put it there and I think it's just so, it's just so perfect. But this color is, what is this color? It's light silver sage from Restoration Hardware. So this is our room. <laughs> This is the official room tour. Coming out of the master into our living room, which I feel like you've seen a thousand times already. Uh, nothing new here. We just moved out all the baby toys. Uh, we have a big basket that I got from Pottery Barn for Emma's toys. We have the Audrey fiddle fig leaf in the corner that needs to be trimmed. Also, this color is graphite by Restoration Hardware, although we got it color matched at Home Depot. So that's what we do. We, we love the Restoration Hardware colors, but we always get them color matched at Home Depot. 
And then when you swing this way, you see the kitchen. So this kitchen, clearly we redesigned it. I did a video on that. I'll link that one below as well. And it was really a joint effort between Mike and I. And I love a white kitchen. So I still love this kitchen. There are a few things I would do differently having done it before. So maybe I'll do a video on that. But in general, we really have been so happy here. We love how it's open and we have the dining room over there, which you probably saw in the living room shot. Uh, but we got a new marble round table, which I also showed in a video. And I uh, got that cabinet. That's a great cabinet. That's from Valor Designs. And my dad gave me that chair in the corner. And this actually, the secretary's desk, we sandwich between the two sliders. So if you go this way, you see our sliding glass doors. You see our secretary's desk and our back patio so we'll show you the laundry room because over here is the pantry and then we have our laundry room which you can take a peek in it and then we're going to head out back and show you the garden I did do a video on how I designed the laundry room as well. So I'll link that one below. Let's go outside and see the garden because, oh, I love this. So this is our back patio. This actually all used to be a screen and it was enclosed everywhere where you see concrete. Mike had the brilliant idea to take it down. We put up these hedges. In Florida, we have zero lot lines and very small yards and this is no exception, but I'm glad that we have property all the way around our house and we really made it as cozy and as beautiful as we possibly could. Uh, I, I'll link the other home or the other patio tour I did, but we have a water feature back there, our peach tree. I, I just love these hedges because it's a good view. I have all my pots with my plants, my mandigo vine, my herb boxes are a little sad. We have our red lime tree and our uh, fig tree. Impatients do so well and then over here, we my butterfly garden because that's originally what it was but since then for uh, just basically convenience I planted this jasmine and these blue flowers so it looks nice that's a mandeville that will eventually climb up this and then here's our rose that smells so good so this is our little tiny backyard that we absolutely love we have the AC going it's behind here so we put hedges around it right here so it kind of hides that so even though we have a tiny yard, good views are important to us and we really made the most of it. So that was our whole entire house tour. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye guys.